Hey guys, it's Huda from Huda Beauty, and today we are doing another beauty dictionary. We're doing one of the most basic and very important parts of makeup, and that is baking 101. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to bake and how important it is in just some easy steps. I'm gonna grab a baking powder. Some people like to use translucent baking powders. I like to use baking powders that have pigments inside, so I'm gonna use my favorite here and I'm gonna grab a damp sponge. Super, super, super important. You need to make sure, when using a sponge, you have to make sure that there is no liquid inside of the sponge. So my sponge actually was wet. I'm going to grab a tissue and squeeze out any excess water. It has to be a tissue. If you use a towel, you're not gonna get all the water out. If you bake and you have any water on your sponge, the sponge and the powder can create little dots on your face and that will be very hard to remove. Once the powder mixes with your makeup, it's gonna set in place and create a beautiful canvas. My sponge is just a little wet, but I've removed all the excess water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, before I use the powder, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure there's no creasing. If I set the wrinkles with excess makeup, it's gonna be set, very hard to remove then. And I'm just overall making sure that everything is blended. I'm gonna grab my powder and I'm just going to dip in. You can see it's really nice and smooth. There's actually a nice amount here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to start pressing it beneath my, I'm not dragging it, I'm pressing it. I wanna press the powder into the makeup so it sets really well. So you can see I'm pressing it and I'm pressing again too. And once you do that, if you've baked correctly, you will notice your skin will start to feel really, really tight. Do the same thing here. All right, we have baked the under eyes. I'm just gonna do a small amount to the chin here and around the laugh lines. This one, I'm just taking a small amount and I'm just pressing it. Now just to do a little shaping, now I am gonna just pull it along the jawline here. And the reason why I'm not setting it here is because I just want a small amount of highlight. I don't want it to be too extreme there. Same thing for here. And then I'm pushing into my chin here. Again, just dragging it along my laugh lines. If you want a light bake, you drag. If you want a heavy bake, you press. And I'm just gonna do my forehead here because that tends to get shiny. Baking really helps to kind of control shine but also balance out the highlighting of the face too. It's important for everything. Now that I've let my face sit for just a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to brush away the excess powder. I'm going to take any extra powder and just put it on the rest of my face. I'm now gonna finish my glam and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have finished my glam and as you can 